Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have Jimmy T today, and he is the founder of Little Iguanas for Safety um, and Good Health, and he, he helps people keep their children safe. For the last 30 years, he has developed all different types of different ways and lessons to help you as parents and family members and friends keep the children around us safe. Now today he's going to go over some great ideas that they have put together that has helped hundreds of people around the world keep their children safe. So Jimmy, why don't you tell everybody a little about yourself and tell them, you know, what these things are that are going to keep our children safe, because I'd love to learn a little bit more because in this world, so many things are going on and we really need to educate and empower our, our parents and family members and friends and show kids also how to keep themselves safe from bad things occurring. Well, thanks for having me. First off, this is pretty cool. I like being on this, uh, this podcast is an old guy, you know, you're like, what's a podcast anyways? I mean, but I learned what it is over the last few days. So anyway, I do appreciate you having me. Well, a little bit about Little Iguana. First off, we've been in millions, not hundreds, but millions, millions. Can we say that on podcasts? You millions can. of people we've helped over the years. And what we do is we focus on young children again, two to eight, two to 10 doesn't matter what learning level we're at or what world, you know, that that we're at when it comes to that learning part, um, because we teach everything through music and fun and role playing and, you know, coolness, you know, instead of the scaring and the anger, we teach it through the calm and collective, you know, and again, the strongest way to do that is through music. What's that old saying? Uh, music so soothes the savage beast. So, when your kid is acting like a monster or or, or a savage beast, like some of mine did in the <laughs> old days, you know, music was a way to to soothe it. And yeah. and if you're trying to deliver a message, right, that's that you really can't talk about in society, or you think that it's just simple common sense, you know, oh, my kids, you know, that's common sense kind of thing, just. Just think about the ways of what you did when you were kids, you know, and and what did you really like when you were growing up? Singing, though right. we could, some of us couldn't sing. I mean, I can't sing. My children rolled their eyes when I try to hit, you know, like a high note in the car or, you know, like whatever it is. It, they just, dad, come on, you know, even today. But, um, you know, you just need to be able to deliver music driven programs that help kids learn, you know, help them unwind, cool down, relax, you know, some of the so social emotional learning. I mean, when we were children, we never heard that. I mean, right. SEL, I mean, what was that? You know, I mean, either back then you were dumb or you weren't dumb. You know, there, there was mm -hmm. no labeling because they didn't understand it. And right. And many of us suffered from that because, you know, us with ADHD, we were considered stupid, dumb people. But for me, it's like I was smarter than most of the people. I could figure things out fast and on my feet. You know, if, if I was in a situation, I could go, oh, we should do this and do this and do this. Meanwhile, you know, the the other folks are burning up in the fire, you know, yeah. but I was the dumb one. And um you know, we try with the social emotional learning for us is to first understand it, not put our stuff down your throat, shove your stuff down your throat is to understand what they're going through. Because how do you know what that person is going through or that child's going through? You know, it's like um, some of the drug programs, they say, don't do drugs. Well, that's why they don't. That's why they're not successful, because they don't say, why are you doing drugs again? Mm -hmm. You know, let me change that. Part. And then we then we can work on don't do drugs because, you you know what I mean? You can't yeah. tell them not to do drugs if it doesn't change, if their world doesn't change. OK, right. so social emotional learning for us is first to understand everything that's going on. So like cool right. and calm, one of our lessons that we teach cool and calm, it's talking about how to breathe, you know, like, yeah. Remember how people like people that are going into a dentist office or a doctor's office start to start to get anxiety and, yeah. you know, so how about a child who is getting angry because 
either they cannot communicate what they're saying properly because in their head they're saying something but their mouth is saying something different or right. they're getting they're getting angry because you're telling them no and they want to say they want you to be saying yes okay right. so what is it that they're going through first before we say shut up or stop that or go to bed and go stand in the timeout corner you're going to stand them in the timeout corner because they're frustrated about what's happening in their life. I mean, come on, man. You know, like when, when we, when, and we're standing like when we were kids and we're standing in the corner or kneeling in the corner, like, yeah. I mean, come on, you know, standing in the corner, that's like a vacation for me, for God's sakes, you know, yeah. today, you know, it's like, take a time out, Woo! go in my room, no TV. Oh boy. That's really bad. Thanks. You know, mm -hmm. my brother was, kneel on rice you know <laughs> you know eat that bar of soap you know and it's just like what you know mm -hmm. again you know eat the bar of soap and fart bubbles tomorrow whatever <laughs> just crazy world we lived in and today it's so different so yeah. we want to teach you know the the breathe in this the calm you know so instead of punishing them right away try the you know sit down for a minute Close your eyes, you know, take a big breath in, take a big breath out, you know, yeah. do that a couple times. Right. See what it is, you know, tell them, you know, think about the thing that you're trying to accomplish right now. Think about it in your mind and, and, and breathe in and breathe out as you're doing it, you know, let everything go. And if that doesn't work, you know, just think of the sun and breathe in and breathe out and do that a few times and then see and then both of you you know because i mean no offense me as a dad i'd go nuts sometimes you know and you know and you're like yelling at them and you're not even calling them the right name you're calling mm -hmm. them the dog's name or the cat's name or the goldfish's name you know and you're like you gotta do it too just yeah. breathe in and breathe out and let it go and 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 focus on something that works together okay so you both you both are trying to accomplish what mom's trying to, or dad's trying to or teacher's trying to accomplish what i'm right. trying to accomplish this and then what are they trying to accomplish totally different not even close yeah. to what i want to accomplish but how do we get to that point together yeah you know and teach them you got to give a little too right and you know, because we all have to, whether it's politics, one side of the aisle or the other side of the aisle, you know, they have to give a little bit. Everybody can't get what they want. It's just, it's all through life. It's the whole thing. Yeah. You know, we both go outside and rake a lawn together. I don't get a hundred percent and you get nothing. Right. So it's the whole calm, relaxing, Hey, just let's, let's figure this out together. And, and, you know, what is it that you're looking to do, you know, without yelling at me, without screaming, can we just talk, you tell me what you're trying to accomplish. And then I could tell you why I don't want you to do that, or, or what my thoughts are, or, you know, we have to, you know, we have to get ready for school or do something, cool and calm, breathe right. in, breathe out, relax, right? Yes. So that's cool and calm that we teach. Can we do that through affirmation cards? you know, that we have where you pull one out of the deck and you say the words out loud and you repeat them a few times. And then you ask the child or whomever you're trying to um, get this message across to is what does this mean to you? You know, first, don't tell them what it means, because if you tell them what it means, then that's the only way most most children will just take that verbatim and they won't think for themselves about it. OK, yeah. so pull the card out, let them talk about it, see what it's about. Let them discuss it first and then you can put your opinion into it after right. they've already because they may say something to you that you have no idea that you could even think that way. Yeah, right. I mean, you're like, wow, I didn't think of that. How many times in our lives have we said something like that, right? Yeah. A million times, I probably this morning, 10 times at least going, wow, yeah. I didn't know that. I should have thought. So 
why not? Just because it's your child doesn't mean that they can't teach you something new. Right. You know, I mean, my kids, goodness sakes, by fourth grade, were teaching me <laughs> math and stuff. They're like rocket scientists to me. I'm like yeah. going to them for help. And they're in third grade, for goodness sakes. Right. My phone rings. It's like, hey, can you help me? I just screwed this up. Can you do this? And the kids are like, oh, sure. You know, so you know that they're smart because they can do that for you. So they get it. You know, yeah. the, another thing that I always tell parents, you know, you tell your kids to be smart right? You work so hard to be smart. You got to understand they're going to be smarter than you by fourth or fifth grade. So give it up. You know, now you're just there to direct them in the, in the path that they're trying to go down. Right. Don't be telling them what you, you know, Oh, I know you might know better, right. As a person, because you've gone through it, we've all gone through it. Yeah. But they might know better from the learning aspect of it. Yeah. We know that we should, we know you shouldn't jump off of a building, but that kid just figured out how to jump off a building with a parachute and land in this little tiny circle on the ground. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we would say as adults, <laughs> it's impossible. No one could do that. You know, so you, you can't hold them back. You just have to guide their intelligence. That's yeah. what I always tell people, guide them, guide the intelligence. Don't, right. Don't make them, don't give them your intelligence, Mm -hmm. please, especially for me. So let them go. And then we talk about respect and self-worth for each person, right? Because this is huge, Stacey. Without self-respect and self-esteem, self-worth, all of what you want to talk, whatever you want to coin that phrase, okay? People say something different, but we all mean the same. And, and people get angry with you when you say, oh, self, self-esteem. And they say, no, it's self-worth. Okay, whatever. I'm not here to argue with anybody about verbiage. Yeah. What I'm here to argue about is we need to teach that to our children. Oh, Stand yeah. Stand up for themselves. Understand it. Ask them questions that they could add to your family life. Like, oh, you know what? We're going to make a menu this week. And... I was wondering your opinion, you know, do you think maybe you could give me some ideas what we can have for dinner? Yeah. Something as simple as that is, is so self-worth and so, hey, I told mom what to do for dinner. Then even one, if you really want to go one, one up on that, have them, you help them with their homework and they help you with their cooking. Yeah. Because now you're, now you're learning what they're learning. Right. Which is a really good thing if you're a parent. Okay. Yeah. Just hear me on that one. Because we got some crazy people in this world that have crazy agendas in this world for crazy different, inf- you know, information. At yeah. least you know what's going on. Okay? Right. In your life, in your kid's life. Mm-hmm. But then they help you because then they understand how hard those things are to do things. And yeah. let them do the stuff, you know, let them chop some celery, not their fingers, but teach them what to do. You right. know, use a chop, put it here, but, but have them do things that that you yourself, you know, do in a depth. I'm not saying you got to have them hold the hot roast and pull it out of the oven when it's sizzling bacon or yeah. put, not. I'm saying, see what their limits are. Right. You know, because, you know, <laughs> I watch Kids Baking Championship. Have you ever seen that show on TV? Yes, I have. Okay. Kids baking champion, not champ, not baking championship, but kids baking championship. And these 11, 10, eight year old, the other day, whatever it was, is whipping up something like crazy. And I'm sitting there going, huh? You know, mm-hmm. and I cooked, I cook all the time. And I'm like, wow, I didn't know that you could. Oh, that's why you add baking soda to it to make it fluffy, you know, or light, you know? Yeah. And, and, and here's the little kids doing it. So they know you just hold them back. Don't touch that. Don't do that. Don't do, go in there. Don't do this. Why? Because I said so. That's not an, that's not a reason anymore, folks. Yeah. Get off your high horse, you know, put your halo down, cut off those, trim the wings a little bit <laughs> so you don't fly as much. Okay. But that's not an excuse anymore. Most right. kids despise 
despise that response. Yeah. And if you're just trying to get to their goat and really just give them a, you know, give them a hard time, that's then that's on you. That's you right. doing it. OK, because because I'm if you didn't know it by now, I'm telling you right now. So listen to me. Hear me now. Believe me. Right. later. You know, I mean, yeah. this, is, this is this is the real world. and This is where we're at today. Teach them how to do those things so that they're not wusses out there in the world and can't yeah. do things for themselves and they can't be part of it. And I'm not talking about just the girls in your family, the guys in your family. Show them how to wash clothes. Right. Explain to them. Give them those little tiny things that will give them so much self-worth and respect. Yes. And then, and then as you're out there in the world, okay, and you see different people, don't pull their hand and say, oh, get away from that person, okay? Because yeah. that's not an, uh, that's, that's, that, that kid, that child may see that person as someone so badly in need. Right. That they need them, okay? And you're pulling them away because you think they're on drugs, or they might even be on drugs. But right. in the child's eyes, that child's saying, hmm, they really need us, mommy. And she's saying no. And that, again, doesn't teach them anything. If you want to tell them why, you can pull them aside and say, can you help me here? And, th and then explain to them. Right. Mommy's afraid of this person because I'm not sure what that person is on or doing. And if they are, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, explain it. Open their eyes. Because just because people go, oh, I don't want to talk about that. Well, just because you don't want to talk about it doesn't mean that it's happening all around our kids. And right. then when the kids are confronted, they don't know how to react because they don't have any self-worth, self-esteem. Yeah. They don't have respect for themselves because they don't know anything. They don't do it. Oh, well, so-and-so is very authoritative, you know, and, 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 and speaks, you know, clearly and, and loudly and everybody listens to them because they speak and here's your child who's eight times smarter than anybody in the room in the back going uh, i i i have an idea you know you know what i mean yeah the, the 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 class followed the kid who spoke the loudest into the flames meanwhile the child who knows the most is in the back saying uh, you shouldn't have done that you know well, why didn't you say something you know because they can't yeah because we never taught them that so take them throw give them the vacuum cleaner right you know don't be ashamed don't don't it's not child labor it's nothing it's teaching them how to when they when they become independent that they become independent and that they're right. not living at your house until they're 50 years old yeah. not that that's a bad thing either please you know don't if my kids could live with me every day of my life, I would love that. I would love to have that, but that's not reality. Right. Okay. That's not reality. And that's not good for them. Right. Because they have no self-worth, no respect and respect for themselves. You need, you need to love yourself and understand what that means. You need to, when people say, Oh, you're going to love yourself first. No, you don't need to love yourself first. You need to just understand that, you're angry with someone because your life isn't what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. You didn't, you didn't expect this to be this way. So you're angry with so-and-so because your life basically sucks. Okay. Yeah. It, you didn't achieve what you wanted it to. You were the cheerleader in high school and you were going to be the Dallas Cowboy cheerleader someday. You were the pop Warner football star and you were going to be Tom Brady, the super, super bowl quarterback someday. And it didn't work out well, you know, for, for the, for the hundreds and millions and billions of us, it doesn't work out sometimes. Yeah. So you need to just pick up your big boy pants and, and your girl pants and just get out there. And that's what self-worth and self-esteem does for you. If something doesn't come your way, the way it's supposed to, you don't fall down on your knees. If somebody, you know, somebody gets elected president that you didn't like, you don't fall down on your knees and cry hysterically in front of cameras. I mean, you don't do that. You yeah. don't, you don't, you don't do that. Right. You, you, you have so much self-worth, so much self, self, self-esteem and it's even drugs. 
somebody comes to you and I say, hey, Stacy, why don't we come over here and go over there and go do this? And because you don't have self-worth and self-esteem for yourself, you're like, oh, okay, okay. And you go do that. But people that have it, what they say is, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, though. You can, you know, if you need if you need me to give you a ride home, you know, hey, you know, you don't pass judgment on the people, you know, mm -hmm. if you need to help them, you find a way to help them, but right. you don't pass judgment on them. And, oh, I'd never do that. <laughs> OK, great. You don't say stuff like that. You don't need to. Again, because if you were if you if you were complete with yourself, you wouldn't say something back to be mean. People yeah. Mean people are different than happy people that are content with themselves. So you have the self-worth, self-respect. You see, like in my days, next door neighbor, and I, and it, and yes, my parents weren't were strong-handed or whatever, but but you you saw somebody next door, uh, an elderly person who's shoveling their sidewalk or. You see somebody cleaning off their car that really shouldn't be cleaning off their car. Mm -hmm. I don't care how old you are. Get off your butt and go help them. Right. Okay. No excuses. Oh no! Oh, I, you know, I don't. I don't want to interfere. Not. Not. No. Help them. That's. That's how our communities grow. That's how our friendships grow. Right. That's how our entire world can grow is by doing that having respect for your next door neighbor the 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 world where you know i'm going to the store it's you know there's three elderly people next door to you you have their phone numbers first of all i mean right. if you don't have people's names and numbers in your place and next of kin or a daughter then you need to you, you need to Go and introduce yourself and say, hey, this is me. And if you ever need something, please. Right. I drive out of my neighborhood. And there might be people that I know that need something. It's snowing out. It's not a nice day. I'm going to Hannaford or whatever store I'm going to, you know, and mm -hmm. say, hey, you know, I'll have Lori call him, my wife. Hey, call him up and ask him if they need something. Yeah. And you pick it up for him. So that's because you have the respect to build your community, to make it better. To right. have self-worth, self-esteem, be able to walk into a room and go over and introduce yourself and say, hey, I always wanted to meet that person. Well, then go do it. Right. I, I can't. Could you introduce them for me? No. Go up to them yourself. Teach them that. Teach your children that so that they always have that self-worth and respect. Yeah. Don't say, oh, don't talk to people. No, you, you want them to talk to people. But what you want to do is you wanted to do it safely. Yeah, because if they never talk to people, then they're antisocial, and that's terrible. I mean, that's right. that's that's committing what do they call that? Uh, 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 social su uh, social solitary co confinement. Mm -hmm. You know, where you're you're out there, but you're not talking with anybody. Right, you're, not, you're still in social you're in you know self containment or whatever they call it because right. you're not actually inter inter interacting with people. Right, exactly. So teach them that. Teach them all that aspect of it. Teach them how to clean, how to take the trash out, how to tie the bag off correctly and put right. it in the dumpster. Exactly. And what you do and what you don't do. Even shopping. Have them go and pick the item off the shelf. Let them go through the steps to understand how hard it is, what you yeah. have to do. Plus just how that, that the food doesn't just miraculously show up on your table. Mm-hmm. This is what we do to make it show up on the table. Explain right. to them every aspect of it so that they're they're knowledgeable about it. Even financial, you know, I want this. Okay, well, let's work towards it together. Right. Has anybody ever done that? No, they just say, oh, we don't have the money. <laughs> well, well, what happens if that child wants to learn how to earn the money to do that? Right. You're going to squelch that for them. So- that's uh, some of the two two of the big ones, the cool and calm that we go through, the respect, self-worth, self-esteem. And then the last one in our social emotional learning uh, program that we do is what a good friend is. You know, because people yeah. always say, oh, my bestie, you know, my BFF, yeah. 
or all these other things, but yet they're not really, okay? Good friend is someone who helps other people when they're in need. Yeah. Not when it's convenient. Right. Okay? Very true. Not when it's convenient. A good friend is someone that goes and helps when they're in need. So your friend is hurting. Their mom died. Their dog died. Their turtle Roxy died. Okay. To you, it doesn't, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Okay. But sometimes to them, it's the end of the world. Or they think that. So a good friend that comes in and helps them through that, they they're able to see that it's not the end of the world. Right. Okay. Oh, gee. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's right. I guess I really uh, got a crazy, you know, but I still feel bad about it. Oh yeah. No, you will. You understand it, it happens. Yeah. You know, you want to treat others basically like this, this is, this is the, the big theme for us. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Exactly. This, there's a few little things in our program that we really emphasize that we teach many things, but that helps every aspect in your life. I yeah. mean, it's so much easier in life to go through, to be kind than to be, a, you know, a, a dickhead. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. no offense, but nobody likes mean people. Yeah. You know, they, they, they don't have you around them. Yeah. You know, you're not invited to the parties. Yeah. You know, they're not when they see you walking down the aisle, they don't smile and think they want to go up and give you a hug. Yeah. They turn around or they pretend they're on the phone. They jump over an aisle, a cabinet. They do anything to get away from you. Right. right. Mm -hmm. But if you're that good friend, I can't wait to see. Hey, how you doing today? Pretty good. Hey, you know what? I got this problem over here at my house and I need some help. Oh, I'll be right. right over and give you a hand. Not, oh, I, I have to go get my eyebrows waxed today. And, uh, you know, and, and I'm going to go and I'm going to go golfing today. And, you know, I mean, right. so golfing an hour later. Okay. Simple. Go, go to, go to the salon an hour later, help them because right. they may need it. They may be going through things that, you know, you yeah. see kids, you see kids. I, I, I really, 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 really wish that parents would take time to teach their children. If they see someone sitting alone at lunch or no one's playing with somebody on the playground. I wish that parents taught their children how to be superheroes and to be able to go over to them and speak with them or play with them. Maybe maybe they don't play the way you can play. Maybe they can't throw a ball the way you throw a ball. Right. Or maybe they can't run and jump as high as you. Maybe they're in a wheelchair. Maybe yeah. they don't have good legs. Maybe they just are just themselves and they don't do that. Don't tell people, stay away from them or, right. you know, have them approach them, ask them how their day is going. Yeah. You know, be a good friend, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, it's really funny how many situations and I, and I, it, this is to all the, the old, old adults out here. Mm -hmm. How many times have we really like stepped in a, and then 30 years later that we see that person or we're trying to get something from that person, you know, like, yeah, you know, pick on Johnny. He's the nerd. He's a little nerd. He's a little nerd. He's a little nerd. And then he becomes Bill Gates, the Microsoft guy. Right. And, and my foundation's trying to get money from him. Right. I mean, isn't it just, or, or you picked on little Sally because she wore glasses and braces. Oh, you know, and, and now Sally's the president of the bank that you're trying to go get a loan from. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it just always like, why wouldn't it be cool if you saw Sally and instead of picking on her because she right. had glasses and braces like everyone else did, you were her best friend and you needed that loan. Right. You don't think that Sally would go above and beyond to try and help you get that loan? 
Right. I mean, if you were the one, if you were the one that busted her chops all through high school and you were just on the borderline of getting it right. or not getting it, yep. what do you think is going to happen? Exactly. So, so why not plant some seeds in life? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you have to hang around with them 24 seven, the rest of the yeah. every day of their lives. But when you see them and you're there, why can't you? Yeah. What, what's it going to do to you? Right. You know, you become a superhero. Yeah. People like me that look at children like that. I go, oh my God, what a great kid. Yeah. Wow. You know, I want them to be part of our TV show or right. our music or anything because they were just so cool. They were good. Yeah. So that's kind of our social emotional learning. I don't even know if we have any time left or what, but if we do, I could keep going right now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, because that's, that's, that's like such a main piece of little Laguana's teaching, you know, yeah. cool, um, you know, you don't have to fight. You don't have to argue, you know, you set your boundaries, you do what you do, you breathe in, you breathe out, you're there, you're ready. You understand it, respect, self-worth, self-esteem, you know, it's what's embedded into you through life. And, and you only find these things out by actually doing, not by listening to someone tell, yeah. you, tell you, I told them a million times, you know, but did you explain to them, you know, yeah. take the time, explain. And then the good friend is always to treat each other, you know, with the respect, the kindness that you do. You see someone struggling, you help them. You see, right. you see somebody that, you know, needs something, you help them. And I know in society, it's tough because we do have a lot of ill in our world. And yeah. uh, I get it. I do. And and it's scary. And it's and it's very scary. But that's you prepare them through that. You help them through that. And right. Like I said, that's that's being safe, you know, and being cool yeah. and being a good human being. So. So anyways, that's that's let's let's all let's all close our eyes and <laughs> mm -hmm. have a minute of of, of reflection. <laughs> yes, I agree. You know, I and this is this is very good lessons that you you just taught us and you also have um kind bracelets that you offer can you tell us a little about that well that'll be coming up soon actually we're excited because in august 11th we will be officially announcing or we're kicking off we're, we're already announcing it but we're kicking it off on august 11th where we go out to the world and we have a big day and it's all about how to be kind. It's, it's easy to be kind day. It's how little Laguana wants us to live our lives, to treat others the way you want to be treated, have right. the respect. Everything that we talked about is going to be worn on somebody's wrist. So if I see and it's easy to be kind bracelet on someone, I know that they'll be kind back to me. Right. And I don't want people, and I'll tell you right now, I don't want people to buy them if they're not nice people. <laughs> I mean, I know it'll I know it'll shoot us in the foot, I guess you call that, but I'm looking for nice, kind people that would like to see the world differently in an easier way, in a respectful way, and not fearful, scary. Um I, I'm, I can't even go on a train anymore. I can't walk alone at night anymore. Shame on our world and shame on all of us to allow that to happen, that, yeah. that a young lady is a frightened to walk down the street by herself anymore. Shame on us. And we need to stop that. And we mm -hmm. do that by teaching our children how to treat each other the way you would like to be treated. Because so many older people are already set in their ways. They hate everybody. I hate you. You're a Republican. You're a Democrat. You're a Libertarian. I hate you because you're black. You're white. You're green. I hate you. Too much hate, and that and that again, like I told you, Stacy, is because they don't like themselves. Yes, that's that's it. And and if somebody tells me I'm full of baloney, that's your opinion too. But I've seen it. I'm 61 years old. I've I've lived in the trenches all my life. I've had a battle my way to to do this, but why I battled my way to do this, yeah, I taught children not to be what happened to me in my life. So it's all about being kind and respectful. Yeah. We want people to sing. We have a version of our song 
called It's Easy to Be Kind. We want people to sing their version of this song for us because we want to share it. We're going to share it with the world. So mm -hmm. if you send us a video that has this song, when we announce it, it's going to be, like I said, in August. And um, you can send information to us to get information about it now. We definitely can do that. But we're putting the day together. And the wristband is all about it's easy to be kind. And it just shows us how we change the world immediately for good. And it costs us no money or maybe $5 for the wristband. We're not sure what it costs yet, but we'll see. We're trying <laughs> to get sponsors for them now so that it won't cost anything, but we'll see about that too. And uh, yeah, we're, it's just a day where we come together as human beings, not, not some party, not some male, female, whatever, you know, non-binary i don't care it doesn't affect me i don't give two hoots what what it is you don't make me do things i won't make you do things and then we do things together and have fun and that's okay, okay. in life for everybody you know to respect each other for who they are to treat each other the way that you would like to be treated every day so i always ask kids and i tell the kids before you do something how many of you ever stop and say would I want that happen to me? Right. No one does. Not one child has ever said that to me. So that's what we would like to treat, to teach them. And if we could teach that, then you know what? We're going to be doing all right. Yeah. We're be doing okay. We can bring everything back. I, I promise. Only takes one generation. A hundred percent. You know, and and whatever generation, baby boomer, Gen Z, whatever they are classified, that's another thing you got to just stop. You just got to stop labeling people because people buy into that label. Okay. Especially if you're not, if you don't have that self-worth and self-esteem that I was talking to you about in right. the beginning of the show, when we were talking about it, yep. you will fall into that model and that into that mold because people told you that's what you are. And so, oh yeah, yes. yeah, that's right. I gotta be complaining and I don't wanna work and I don't wanna, look, all of us wanna complain and all of us don't wanna work. But the reality of it is it doesn't work that way. Right. Okay. And it might work for that. It might work that way for a while here, but people are just tired of the way it works sometimes. And yeah. they, stop, they stop working it that way. But you never stop if you're kind and respectful. 100%. You know, that will never go away. You just just got to bring it to the forefront. So, yeah, August 11th will be our big day. It celebrates our 30th anniversary of saving lives and 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 doing good things in our world. 30 years. That's a long time. Yep. Real long time. It is a long time. Pictures today and it was like going through and brings tears to your eyes. Some, you know, like. We've lost some kids along the way to things that, you know, again, when we first started, they came on board. We didn't know, you know, things just just life and, um, you know, brings tears to your eyes that that, uh, you know, so much so much in our world that we need to change for the better. And this day is all about it. So we're looking for people in their area because what we'd like to do is we'd like to set up like little kindness ambassadors so that they offer an event in their community just a day it could be tables of different nonprofits that get together that share their information mm -hmm. get some people to sing or dance different organizations around that that want to participate you know sharing some some stuff that happens and put a video together of people singing their version send it to us you know help us distribute the wristbands it's easy to be kind in your communities um become a hero become a become a superhero for us and and help us help us bring this program to everybody's doorstep whether they want it or not at least let them see it because sometimes kids never see some stuff like this so right. they only live in a world of 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 this and they don't yeah. see that there's you know there's green grass on the other side of the fence i've only right. seen the fence for 
all my life. I never realized, you know, what was that movie with uh, Truman? Mm -hmm. right? Bill, what was his name? Jim Carrey, right? Yeah. He lived in this giant make-believe world. And then as mm -hmm. soon as he opened the door, he saw outside. And, you know, that's what we want to do. We want to yeah. share that with everyone. We really like to make them good, make them, make them cool people, you know? hundred percent. So if people want to get in touch with you and they maybe want to sponsor or be an ambassador, can they just go on your website and look for oh, your yes, email address? Absolutely. Yes. LittleIguanaUSA.org, right behind that Little Iguana. I think we're the only Little Iguana around. So I guess you could, you won't have trouble finding us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, reach out to us because we'd love it. We we're always looking for people that would, can take what we've created over 30 years, tested, you know, proven. What mm -hmm. do we say? Uh, the kids, the kids here say it's uh, loved by kids, trusted by parents. Mm -hmm. And it really has been. Um, and in our society, trusted by grandparents, because grandparents, I think there's like 30 something percent of grandparents mm -hmm. are raising their grandchildren right now. Mm -hmm. 30 something percent. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a lot. That's and they need some help, too, because the times have changed. Yep. You know, the, the really like what we were talking about today, so, social, emotional learning and things like. Yeah, they never had that. They, yeah. didn't, they never had that. You yeah. Know? So we're here to help. We're not here to do anything more than change the world for the better. <laughs> yeah. And help and help raise some really cool kids, kids that are, you know, safe healthy happy is a big one and kind yeah so it's easy to be kind you know please check us out come to our website littleiguanausa.org and uh and uh, find out more or give us pick up the phone give us a call and uh we'd we'd love to talk with people on explain how we could together you know everything's together you can't do everything by yourself you know right you, jack of all trades master of none you know yes with, when you build a house, it's a good thing to have an electrician, a plumber, a carpenter, a tile man, a rug guy, you know, yeah. because it gets done fast, you know, and it's the exactly. same thing in our society with our kids, you know, let's work together, you know, find, find, I always say, find a way, find something that works and let everybody use it. Right. And then share it. And then this way it's available and our stuff I mean, yeah, there's stuff that you buy, but there's stuff that's free. There's a lot of information that's free. I mean, tons of information that's free. You yeah. know, just sign up, get on our mailing list so that mm -hmm. when we offer free tickets to a baseball game because somebody donated them and asked if we would like to give them to somebody and we put it up on our site and we say, hey, anybody want, first one that wants it, let us know or, right. or basketball or football or days at the fear or whatever, yeah. Mm -hmm. so much so it's always good to be in connect you know to join our uh our social media platforms what do they say what what does the kids say here they tell me all the time i should say it but i never say it it's uh it's um something share follow follow share whatever it, it's find out and let us know on the next time <laughs> Just take our stuff and give it to other people. All right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh my God. This has been great, Jim. Yeah. I love you so much. You get, you are, you are, are for such a great cause. You know, everybody should check out little iguanas, you know, cause they're, you know, and even if you don't have kids, think about the kids of our future. They're, every single kid that lives in this planet is our future. And we really need to keep them safe, empower them teach them the right ways. And this is a great way. Just go on littleiguanasusa.org and you will find a load of information on how to educate children, keep them in, on the right track and move them forward. And this is a, an amazing organization. So thank you so much, Jim, for coming back on the show. He, he has his own podcast on our show. So check out his podcast. And there is a support button. If you want to support Little Iguanas, you just hit the support button and you can donate to his, his cause. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a great cause. It's a, it's a great cause. And I thank you so much for coming on the show today. And Thanks. so glad to have you as one of our podcast community members. I yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate everybody listening to us babble on all the time because yeah. uh, 
Well, it's something, it's a good thing to babble about because people need direction. People need guidance. People need good tips and you provide that all. So it's a great thing. It's a great thing. Thank you so much, Jim. This has been wonderful. Yeah. I had a good time. (laughs) Me too. I was on a roll. You were on a roll. (laughs) You have a great day, Jim. You too.